Hi everybody, my name is Jens Lee. Today I am very excited to talk about building a RISC-V ecosystem. So let's dive right in. 2020 is the 10th year anniversary of RISC-V. In the past 10 years, RISC-V has gone into many, many applications and vertical markets. At Sci-5, we have more than 200 design wins with 80 companies, including six of the top 10 tech companies. I'd like to mention some of these applications and vertical markets so that you can get a sense of where our technology is being used. FPGA hardened cores, augmented reality, audio processing, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data plane processing, industrial robotics, networking are some of the applications and vertical markets where our technology is being used. Our technology has been crucial getting RISC-V into these applications but this could not have happened without a good RISC-V ecosystem. I'd like to walk you through the current state of the RISC-V ecosystem, starting from embedded. So we have pretty good RISC-V support for real-time operating systems and trace and debug IDE tools, both in open source and commercial. Just to name a couple of open source projects so that you can get a sense of the RISC-V status. We have RISC-V support for Free RTOS, RTEMS, Riot, and Zephyr. On the commercial side, Sci5 has been working closely with partners such as IAR Systems, Seger, Lauterbach, Wind River, and Green Hills, developing RISC-V solutions to provide them to our partners together. Moving on to the Linux and application side of things, on the bootloader, we have support for RISC-V in Coreboot, U-Boot, UFI, and Tiana Core, which is the open source implementation of UFI. On the distro side, Debian, Fedora, Ubuntu, Gen2, SUSE, OpenWRT, FreeBSD, NetBSD has RISC-V support. Let's dive into Debian a little bit closer. Debian builds 95% of packages on RISC-V. This is an important milestone in becoming a normal architecture. Last year at the RISC-V Summit, Carlos had showed Docker, Kubernetes working on Debian on High 5 Unleashed board uh, by Sci-5. Moving to Fedora in 2018, Western Digital has done a Fedora desktop tutorial. And in 2020, the most recent news is that EFI boot works on High 5 Unleashed and QMU. This picture over here shows the genome desktop on Fedora working on the Unleashed development board, which is pretty cool. So at Sci5, we has from day one, we have always taken RISC-V ecosystem development very seriously. That was one of the main reasons why we have done the High 5 development board program. On the embedded side, we have launched High 5 One in 2016. And subsequently, the Hi-Fi 1 RevB adding Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support. On the Linux application side, we have launched Hi-Fi Unleashed in 2018. And with Microchip, we have developed the Hi-Fi Unleashed expansion kit, which, based, which is based on the Polefire FPGA to enable people building domain-specific computers. All in all, these Hi5 development platform had enabled the first wave of RISC-V ecosystem development. And every single time our expectations were exceeded on how much these boards were able to move the RISC-V ecosystem forward. So moving on to the status of the RISC-V software. So most of the important open source software projects now have RISC-V support upstreamed. So to name a couple, GCC, LLVM, GDB, Binutils, ULib, glibc, Linux kernel, and QMU all have RISC-V support in their upstream respective projects. Moving on to the Sci-Fi software products, we have four flagship software products, starting from Freedom Studio, which is our Eclipse C and C++ development environment which integrates Sci-5's RISC-V cross-compiler, OpenOCD debugger, Seger J-Link debugger, uh, QMU emulator, as well as the Freedom ESDK software development kit. Moving to the Freedom tools, which is Sci-5's RISC-V development tools, um, which integrates all of these subcomponents and is released on a normal cadence. 
Freedom ESDK is our bare metal software development kit, while Freedom USDK is our Linux software development kit, which is based on Yocto and Open Embedded. So now let's go take a look at the Sci-5 software products in action. Freedom Studio is Sci-5's free all-in-one software development IDE. Freedom Studio bundles all the tools necessary to get started developing software on RISC-V, whether you are using High 5 series boards or an FPGA board with an IP package downloaded from Sci-5 Core Designer. Freedom Studio provides access to all the advanced debugging features in Sci-5 cores, including trace, peripheral viewers, advanced hardware triggers, and performance counters. With Freedom Studio, you'll be creating, building, and debugging RISC-V software in minutes. It's using the uh, the JLink GDB server to communicate with the JLink on this board. Click debug, and essentially the JLink GDB server will connect to the target and download the the project or the code. So if you're looking for a sequence diagram-like feature, uh, we have something, a chart that's built in that will show you the flow as it goes from, for example, function 10 here, um, back up to an essence main, and then back down to function 11. What I have here is the IR Embedded Workbench for RISC-V. When you start Embedded Workbench, uh, you have this uh, information center with uh, some additional information, product explorer, user guides, example projects. We mainly have support for all cores here from Sci-5. If you look under the view menu, you will have all the capabilities. You have information about uh, the call stack, uh, breakpoints that you are using. We of course support uh, data breakpoints. You can look into the memory, you have all the registers, everything very easy and uh, easy to use. That was cool. Now let's switch gears and talk about making the RISC-V ecosystem great. The name of the game here is to capture the core of leading compute platforms to move RISC-V into intelligent edge, storage, mobile, high performance compute, networking, embedded, automotive, and 5G base station. To that extent, Sci-5 has launched Hi-5 Unmatched which is our next generation RISC-V development platform in October. The Hi-5 Unmatched development platform integrates the Sci-5 FU740 processor over here, integrates eight gigabytes of DDR4 memory with four of the USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, gigabit ethernet, micro USB, and micro SD card with a PCIe expansion by 16 slot which is backed by PCI Gen 3x8 and an NVMe M.2 slot and an M.2 E key for Wi-Fi Bluetooth connectivity. This all comes in a mini ITX PC form factor with an ATX 24 pin power supply. 
So in order to develop this product, we have taken a lot of feedback from the High Five Unleash community. So pretty much what we've heard is people love the Linux capable development platform, but wanted more advanced features like faster processors and high speed IO integration with expansion capability, all coming in an industry standard form factor and obviously with out of the box software support. So we integrated all this into the High Five Matched product. So let's kind of look at the FU740 SOC here at the heart of the High Five Matched development platform. So this SOC integrates four of the U74 application processors with an S7 embedded processor over here. The 7 series processors is our 64-bit 8-stage dual issue superscalar RISC 5 cores. So all these five cores are backed coherently by a 2 megabyte L2 cache, which integrates a DDR4 memory controller and a PCIe Gen 3 by 8 controller with a gigabit Ethernet controller. Also comes with a bunch of peripherals on the SOC. So now let's take a look at the High Five a match in action. In conclusion, a strong RISC-V ecosystem is a key to RISC-V's success. So let's build the RISC-V ecosystem together. So far, we were very successful in building a lot of RISC-V software together, but there's a couple of places where we could use your help. Just to name a few, we'd appreciate your help adding RISC-V support into UEFI, V8, Java, and Android. These all look like big mountains, but let's not forget it's about this virtuous cycle here. So we start from RISC V, a free and open architecture, add your commercial innovation, and with community contribution, we will end up with a stronger RISC V base for a better future. We're counting on your support. Thank you very much. Yeah.